time to break in the motor, so the first thing that needs to be addressed is the cooling system. There are lots of lines to add for the turbo and wastegate, but I'm starting by changing a line I already made. The old line didn't bend very nicely, so I'm reusing one of the old fittings and replacing one with a 45. Once again, I hate making dash 20 lines. The expansion tank gets zip tied in place so I can finally start on easier AN fittings. Lines get ran from the block to the turbo and wastegate, then to the expansion tank, and back to the block. The last thing to plumb up on the engine to run the car is the PCV system. Now I don't need to do it now, but it's better to not cover the entire engine with oil. So for now, I'm running hoses out and away to cover other things with oil. With the motor plumbed, it's time to start on the front half of the cooling system. Fittings are added to the radiator and the front expansion tank for another water fill point. Putting the radiator up front has its benefits. It makes for better weight distribution and air can more easily get to the radiator. But at the same time, it's difficult for air to get to it when the nose is so low. So I'm taking an abnormal approach and mounting my radiator relatively flat. With the back of the radiator welded in place, I'm going to be suspending the front of the radiator from the headlight brackets. These are my radiator fans I got from Mishimoto. They supposedly flow a lot of air, but do not put your fingers in them. I'm doing a temporary wiring job so the engine can stay cool while I break it in. So the wire looks like absolute hell, so just ignore that. But 
They will work just fine for cooling the engine down, and I even hooked them up in the ECU to work off these two bugs. So here's the point I started finding all the leaks. Almost immediately, a big one was coming from the engine, and this turned out to be a crack along the threads of a plug in the water pump. Instead of doing it right, I welded the hole shut on the car, and then I covered it with epoxy. No one will ever know. Okay, so here's the deal. So I got to break this engine in. So I've only ever started it a couple times just to hear it run, make sure I had everything right. So now I actually have to seat piston range, make sure the camshaft is happy, stuff like that. What that means is I need to fire this up, bring it up to about 2000 RPM for about five minutes, and then at the very RPM from there, from 2000 to 4500 RPM for 30 minutes. That's a lot of everything for 30 minutes. I don't know if there's enough fuel to do that for 30 minutes but I'm stressed out. I have fixed almost all the leaks on this car. I also have to make sure it's full of coolant. I have to make sure it doesn't overheat, make sure it has oil pressure, lots of things. So here we go. This could be expensive. Okay, so that was like an immense success. I had effectively no issues. The only ones I had were self-imposed, which was leaking coolant and putting my hands into the radiator fan. But don't worry about that because this engine is running. Couldn't be happier. Oil pressure, great. Uh, engine, starting to self-learn a little bit. It's still a little bit but I don't really care. It sounds incredible when I rev it. It's still got a little bit of rumble. At idle, it's got that rumble. I just gotta get it to idle a little bit better. But heck yeah, heck yeah, it worked. With the engine broken in, I could finally do something I've wanted to do for a long time. Rev it. Switching gears to a bit more fab, the car has a water to air intercooler on it, so it needs a heat exchanger for that water, and it's getting mounted just ahead of the rear axle. It's far from ideal, but as far as mounting goes, it made the most sense. On the other side of the car, I'm mounting an oil cooler in the same spot. Again, less than ideal, but it's another good excuse for big air inlets on the quarter panel.
in my head, this car has come a long way. But now my next plan of attack is to work on the brakes, the shifter, and the clutch, if you know what that means. But that comes next time. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Do it! Just do it! Just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just